Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Bowling, and today is the day you see it from the title. Look, this video is not starting until you smash that like button right now. Smash that thing hard too. Don't go light on that. Hit it mad hard right now before this video starts. Check that you subscribed because if you're not subscribed, you gotta hit that too. We are gonna hit 100k before this year ends. I'm going in strong, bro. This is no joke. We are no money spent. I didn't even buy the pass, bro. Y'all told me not to do that either. We don't buy nothing. No money spent for life, gang. Come on. But Pink Diamond Shea Alexander, SGA. We talked about this man many, many times. I'm just going to do a little quick intro before we get straight into everything. I'm going to tell you guys how much this cost me. Because it obviously cost me MT, right? Well, I'll, I'll explain everything that went through the process. You're going to watch a nice long video to see how I made so much money this weekend, this week. Everything I do, the process. Honestly, I, the only reason I did this was not... So 2K can keep doing this the way they do it, right? So 2K could be like, oh, if most bowling could do it, then anyone could do it. No, the point was that I can do it, so no one else should have to. This this grind was not worth it by any means necessary. I'm positive about that. This SGA is not worth it. I didn't like the idea from the beginning. This video is going to show you a bunch of ups and downs from the start because um, literally I started this opening base packs. You'll see a couple of them. I don't show you all the base packs. I'm not even going to calculate the base packs in the final MT amount. I'm also going to be showing you guys the percentage of because we obviously open packs, right? It's obviously a lot of MT packs. That was really the only way the grinding. I did grind a lot of games. I did play a lot but that wasn't the process the process was making mt to open packs so every time i open a pack it was the 18,000 mt packs i'll show y'all right now while we're here before we get started started i basically was grinding enough mt to open these packs right here they had a guaranteed basically um a guaranteed skull it could have been a gold could have been a ruby, could have been an ami, could have been a diamond, it could have been a pink diamond. Every time you open one of these. So I had to grind that MT. My goal and my mission before this all started was not to sell anyone on my main lineup. Like no one that plays for me was allowed to be sold. That was the plan. So that meant no Paulo sale, no Jaron Jackson Jr., Wiggins. Like these guys I bought with my MT that I earned and they were supposed to stay on my team. I was supposed to earn the MT. So basically I was just playing games making money putting up auctions you'll see what kind of auctions we were doing to make this happen because i'm pretty positive we spent a lot of mt it, it's actually a crazy amount we'll figure it all out and i'm gonna tell you guys how many golds i pulled from these how many rubies how many amis pink diamonds diamonds because i was kind of curious on the percentages we'll break it down i love math i love breaking stuff down to a science to a t so so we'll get into that we'll, we'll see which challenges i did the free stuff and all that and man, oh man, what a grind. That's all I got to say. That's why I need you guys to show me some love. It's going to be a crazy end of this year. I want this to be the best year of my life. Uh, 100K has been a dream of mine forever. I've been doing YouTube for so, so long. I've always been grinding. This wasn't even the hardest 2K grind I've ever done. I'll be honest with you guys. I'll explain a little bit more later what kind of grinds we've done throughout the years that were even harder than this because this wasn't that serious. But 2K, if you're watching this, I know you guys watch us. Just know, I know for a fact, no one has the time on their hands to do this, and it really isn't worth it. But um, with all that said, let's get straight into the video. So the only way this is ever going to be remotely possible, and I said, uh, like, this is so stupid. This is the dumbest event I've ever seen. I'm just going to open base packs all weekends. Every MT we make throughout the weekend, we just open packs with it. Literally, is that the vibe? Is that what we're doing, man? Bro, it gave me an OKC jersey in our first pack with this. So is that what we're doing? We're just hoping we pull some skulls? 2K really just making us spend money? Yay, they're making us spend money. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. This is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited for this grind. I am super happy. 2K, you did it. What a great idea to make people spend money. Y'all did it. It's the first time y'all had a good idea to make people spend money. I promise you, you're going to lose your whole fan base. Because I'm furious right now. 
I am furious. Call of Duty just dropped. We about to be on that. So as you guys just saw, we were opening up base packs and I opened more base packs. I opened some other packs. I actually, the two things you're not going to see is I showed it in another video, but I opened three regular packs outside of this, right? I opened two VC packs. We earned the VC from the Halloween event. 2K had a Halloween trick or treat event on Halloween where we basically would go around and try to pull some VC and stuff while we trick or treat. A lot of times I wasn't getting anything crazy. I wasn't getting anything special. You guys see it here, but we were able to make about 25,000 VC. Plus I had like 6k from whatever other stuff that goes on. So all that stuff obviously added up overall. It added up and it got us two packs that didn't really get us anything. And I opened one MT pack. I pulled the Ruby from it. And from the two VCs, I pulled one Ruby, one gold. I just want to make it transparent before we get into this. So you guys can know every single skull where I got it from. They're bad. Yo, blazer rolled to three years. Thank you for the 25 month sub, man. I appreciate that. Yo, pick face ball. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, why would I open an 18k pack? It doesn't even make sense. Such a bad investment, bro. Thank you for the 25 months, my guy. You are real MVP. Yay, Ruby. Good job, 2K. You're so good to us. Uh, uh, so good to us. Uh, Ruby, the worst possible. Not the worst case scenario. Worst case would have been a gold. Yo, I'm probably lying. I probably didn't even pull one from base. I'm probably bugging out. This is so bad. Send player to auctions. I pulled a KD chat. I made some of my MT back. I don't even know if he sells for more than 4k. Oh man, my opponent has Jamie. He probably exchanged whatever. Yo, another Ruby! So Ruby saved me five breakout games. Five breakout games. Or if we did this the long way. I don't know why I'm doing this. Why am I doing this? 2k? What is this, bro? Is this worth it on any any Yo Diamond? Oh my god! That's a save right there. Holy cheeks. Oh my god, that saved me 60 breakout games. Oh my god, is this what we're doing over the weekend? Is this what we're doing? We're grinding packs for 18Ks to pull nothing? Yo, is that an Emmy one? Let's go. Oh my god, thank you guys so much. You're the real MVP. We got our first diamond, guys. We could exchange for a pink diamond. Let's go. Let's go. We got an Emmy. Let's go. Let's go. I do have four rubies. Might as well just go ahead and exchange these now. Mr. DeJounte Murray, I am selling you right now because I know I'm getting Shea Gilgis Alexander. Everyone in my chat said it's impossible. And that shit just turned me on. Like, literally, I don't know. Like, I was off. I was not touching this game. I was not planning to play this game anymore. But people tell me I can't do something kind of motivates me in ways that, like, you will never understand. So, first plan of the plan right because obviously theoretically I'm, I'm smarter than that I, I know this i know this for a fact i'm not dumb i know that me just playing the game is not possible i, I get that a thousand percent all right i get that a thousand percent so what do i need i need a little rng luck i have no mt right now so this is gonna be even funner it's gonna be so much fun i'm so with it right now we're gonna go ahead and sell a couple guys that we don't use that are just chilling on our collections type all right i almost had to type vibes but we didn't and what happens is all that money we get, we open up the packs. So that's just kind of speed up the process a little bit, right? Just give me a little extra push. So I don't have to play all 2,400 games or whatever modes we're going to be playing and all that stuff. So that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. Go ahead, sell DeJounte because that's Shay's spot. That is Shay's spot, bro. Just going to be honest with you. Shay's taking that spot. And then we'll go ahead and sell a couple other things here and there. And then we're opening the 18K packs, all right? I mean, honestly, though, honestly, just because I really am confident that I could do this, you guys really think you can make me not do something? Like, you really think 2K can make something that most bowling can't do? Do y'all really think I'm not capable of doing anything I want? I'm so capable, I'm going to go ahead and buy base packs, even though I'm not pulling anything from here, just so I can make sure I have zero MT. That's the plan. That's how confident I am in this capabilities, all right? I'm literally so confident I will go ahead and quick sell everything or make sure I have zero MT, right? Spurs logo. That's a sign. That's a sign for something. And now I have zero MT to start this fresh. All right. We're going to start this fresh. We ready? Zero MT most in the building. And we locked in, baby. We locked in. Hey, yo, it's like I played a full game right there. Nice. You know what's really funny, though? Really, really funny. I'm not even kidding. 2K did this. They literally did this. So we don't get any guaranteed 
packs from it like it's just a one pack so we can't get blessed anyway and get any more pieces of skulls we opened up our showdown rewards i'll show you guys that one day i've been opening them up every week and i just completely forget to show it to you guys what i'm actually gonna do now so i can make some more mt because i quick sold everything i got from there right what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go ahead and lock in anything that's not locked in right that i have especially the unsellable stuff that i know i don't need for anything else that way we can get closer to locking in for some more money and that way i have enough to pull my next pack you never know maybe i'll pull a pink diamond quick or a diamond quick and make this grind a little bit feel like a little easier at least that's all i needed to do i needed to feel easier after locking in all the golds it got us to 469 yes all the golds now we'll go ahead and lock in silvers i'm not gonna lock in everything like i said i think gems of the games for the most part i don't even want to lock those as i locked one in wow i'm not even paying attention but i guess then again i only care about the sapphire ones it's not like i'm gonna exchange the emeralds for a sapphire so that really doesn't matter too much we just locked in pack or card number five hundo five hundo down the train and i locked in a couple of hidden gems or gems of the game i should say by accident that was an accident by far i didn't mean to do that so every time i have enough for a pack i will open these otherwise i'm not gonna open them let's actually quick open so we got two emeralds from that as well as the six golds that 2k is trolling us swift good job 2k you're amazing we love it 18k is how much it's gonna cost not worth it but if i can pull a diamond or a pink diamond it will be worth it what do we get it looks like a diamond let's go that's our second diamond chat let's go baby let's go so 18k to pull a diamond this is the only way we make it happen all right and that's it that's the only way i'm being honest there's no way i play enough games it's going to be playing the games, trying to get enough. So here we go. We get our first pink diamond. That's really it. That's really it. And then now we need 8K more to make it up. But our first pink diamond skull event card, we coming up, man. 19 more to go. Here we go. 18K. 18K. Come on. Let's go. Please, please. Amy diamond, pink diamond. Amy diamond, pink diamond. We do not care about the players. I literally do not care about players. Uh, bro, no way they gave me a gold. They are trolling. 18k for a gold. Y'all trolling. Were those unsellable? Am I bugging? Probably a bugging, but whatever. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and quick open the rest. We got 11. Let's go. Big 11. Let's go ahead and open the rest. Hey, another 8 in the building. Oh, I have to exchange. All right, let's... I don't want to do at all. I guess... All right. I guess there's nothing else they can go to, right? There's nothing else they should go to. I'm assuming there's like... I just, I'm scared. So let's just double check. Yo, no way. They're bugging. Bro, they're not letting me exchange because the exchange didn't reset because I just did it and it doesn't need time to reset. But, oh, that's a tough, I'm not quick selling those. Nope, I played too many games. Let's go ahead and close app and hope that works. So we should start, whoa, what are y'all doing 2K? What is this? What is this, bro? No way. No, they're really gonna make us, I'm so confused what is happening. How is this a thing right now? Oh, we are screwed. They're gonna make me quick sell all these. Oh, no. I just accepted a park invite. I accepted a park invite. That's what I did. And we're basically... Nope, I have to quick sell a total of seven of these. So I played seven games for 525. I cannot do anything else with these. I've closed the app. I've done everything I could possibly do. Thanks for the MT, guys. I appreciate it. Just, I'm done playing this game. So I think I'm going to do the rest of this video as a voiceover, just so it's easier to track, so it's easier to do a lot of those things. So we found out that we were only able to hold 20 golds, and then you were able to exchange the five other ones. You weren't able to do anything more. So it was kind of Im like important to keep exchanging. That's one thing I noticed. I may try tweeted that a million times, so no one else had to quick sell like I did. That was kind of really, really bad. And it just didn't make sense to do that. Another thing is, I didn't realize that I didn't have to do this. You could literally just click triangle. It would have saved me so much time. I realized it way too late. Shout out to everyone who told me about that. But I was literally going in here one by one. So obviously, I'm not going to show you guys all that. But that was my original process for literally every color. I would do that for rubies to make them into amis, gold into that. And it was just taking a lot, lot longer than it should have if I just clicked triangle. I don't know why I didn't notice that to begin with but 
this was where we got another diamond now i was honestly mainly playing park that was the mode i was playing because it was giving me two per and then i was also just being able to capitalize on other factors like the mt i was making it just seemed like the right vibe overall as i pulled the steph curry from one of those random deluxe standard packs that we get for playing the game like i don't even remember which one i got this from but it was just a regular league box and of course i couldn't really do anything with them because the exchanges kind of suck so it got me a thousand mt so i'm not complaining it helped me push over and we opened up the rest of our skulls which i once again made a mistake and was only able to exchange some so i had to quick sell once again for the sake of time you're not going to be seeing any gameplay just know i was playing some co-op as well as singles and we honestly played a lot of games like that first day i was getting a lot of these it, it just was what it was it was my way of getting as many pieces as we can if 2k just kept this event going for longer where you get pieces it probably would have been a lot lot easier as well as the fact that they should have gave you random pieces that's my opinion i don't think it should have been always gold and this is where we're gonna start actually selling stuff so dejounte was our first player sold he sold for 110 brandon miller actually went unsold which is crazy to me that this card is less than 100k now i bought him for 130 something 133 exactly and i did not use him once and now now he's way way less and i needed to eventually sell him because his price was clearly going down but here we go with our next pack i actually opened this one on the jumbotron just because i wanted to open one here and then we're gonna go open the rest somewhere else but we pulled a uh, gold okay this is gonna happen a lot moving forward but i know the big screen in the park is supposed to have better odds so i thought why not go one more time before we go back to the normal market give me some heat and we did get an amethyst here so that was a lot lot better now my goal was to play as many games make as much money and like keep going in a cycle like i don't want to waste too much time i don't i wish i like calculated time played i wish i did that but i'll be serious with you guys i put a lot of time playing the first two days i think and then that's when we realized that there's no way without the mt that's when i started just grinding the auction house so right now you're just seeing me do like the the gold pieces that i got from playing the game but soon you're gonna see just literally auction house sales that's what it's gonna turn into but thankfully i was able to like turn golds into rubies quick even though i was doing it the slow way for the first two days pretty much literally first two days i was going in there manually doing it instead of the quickest triangle and we out and this is how pink diamond number two came about it was still friday i was i was going at a pretty good pace i wanted to pace myself especially that i didn't want to tire myself out get bored a lot of people were asking me if that was gonna happen like take it easy relax i appreciate you guys for looking out for me but like i said this ground was pretty easy for me personally after getting pink diamond number two we had to open some packs this is gonna turn into a big pack opening slash auction house method you guys are gonna see a lot of different things we go ahead here and pull a gold so this is um, i'm keeping track right now i'm keeping a tally that's why i said i wanted to do it as a voiceover so it's easier for me than to watch it back later that way it's just like i'm doing it kind of on the fly i have a spreadsheet open we'll go percentages i pulled another gold let's keep that in mind because you're gonna see i'm gonna pull back to back to back to back i went on a cold street multiple times i think the odds were really good when they first dropped and then 2k just like plummeted them like completely we do pull a ruby here which i was happy about every time i got a ruby or higher which i think these packs should have been honestly i think these packs should have guaranteed you ruby or higher but the fact that they didn't kind of like bothered me overall it was just one of those things that just didn't make sense because it was just back to back to back golds at this point after playing some showdown yes i started playing a little bit of showdown here and there just to get the bigger packs where it gives you three and i was like i'll make some progress so we got a couple of these threes that's 12 for four games which i guess is better than the other things but obviously showdown is not as fun like it's a lot more sweatier it's a lot more boring but we were making more mt so you saw my mt jump a little bit uh, this is where i started putting up like our actual things we had a bunch of pending with kd camo like i hate that stuff i hate the pending system that also was slowing us down up 
ton like way more than you guys could imagine just waiting for things to pens here and there it was really annoying and this is where we went ahead and pulled a ruby and the big vroom vroom i was excited about that that was probably the best pull of the weekend that's the best thing i got the little green animation there so every night before i went to sleep we would basically so every night before i went to sleep i would chuck up fill up my auctions that was something i made sure i did because you wake up and hope some or most things sell not everything would would sell every time sometimes i would put stuff too high or someone would undersell me but i would wake up to at least a couple of finished auctions no matter what they were like some things that you'd have to quick sell for 25 or 50 i would sell them for more you see here a lot of badges were selling this was friday night well this is actually saturday morning right now this is the day of kotc so i knew badges would go up this morning but i just wanted to make as much money so i could open up as many packs so literally every single day this was my plan just to put up as many auctions of things once again that i'm not using like whether they're the random things that i just pulled from the packs i was opening or if like i had some unsellables that i found along the way a lot of badges little things like that we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of things you guys don't even realize that i was selling and i think that can help a lot of people in the future when you realize that i was making money off of things that you probably don't even know about like i was selling some things for like eight to nine k like a lot of big prices for things you don't normally sell we do get an ammy right here big ammy that is our third one from a pack so that literally equates to a diamond so i technically pulled a another diamond theoretically if we think about it like that i was still yet to pull a pink diamond but i was fine with it as long as i wasn't pulling golds because those really just demotivated me a lot you can see here that was our last amethyst piece so we did get our first diamond i considered diamonds as half a pink diamond because that's what they were so whenever i would tell people i'm at like 10 and a half it was just clear that i basically had a diamond piece and honestly this is where i started looking at this stuff and i was like what is really worth it right that's when i dropped y'all the video of what i thought was worth it for the amount of time the amount of effort the amount of money the amount of whatever to get and honestly it just some things made more sense than others like this for example i really hope i can still get that i still haven't gotten anything and just know that i'm gonna get more than just shay at the end of this now i really need you guys to focus on the auctions because you're gonna see that that's what was happening all day right i just had as many things pending just literally just keeping stuff flowing and that was the goal and if you look at them you're not gonna see anything crazy it's literally just badges i told you guys badges was my bread and butter and then i'm selling like emerald players sapphire players we had one ami dominique in my collection so i was like let me get rid of him he wasn't locked in and after after waiting a little bit they finally finished pending so i was able to capitalize here so here i'm like all right i know i have at least two packs for sure if everything finished pending at once i would have a third but maybe possibly it's possible but i didn't think so even though like all these cards at the end of the day like maybe i was selling them a little under their normal prices but i kept looking at it as i kind of have to if i want to get this done if i want to see if it's possible because at this point i don't know if it's really possible if i'm not going to sell my big dogs until i saw this bad boy down the middle that was our first pink diamond skull from a pack and it felt great seeing my name seeing the pink diamond it made up for the six golds that i pulled so far that saves you so much time like so much more than you guys can imagine especially Especially when there was only golds that you could grind for i was like wow i just saved that so much time here i was confused if it was the ami or the ruby and it turned out being the ami which was another blessing in disguise because that's amazing we could sell trey for a little bit more than his quick sell value and honestly that pink diamond pull was huge it was definitely huge and got me motivated again so now we know we're at three and a half big three and a half and a lot more work to do i had to take a little break from selling badges and go ahead and badge out my new kcp that i got i was planning to use him for king of the court so i had to take care of that before we kept going honestly i felt like it was kind of uh, counterintuitive in a sense like i was kind of going backwards where like these are badges i could have been selling instead but I, I had to do what i had to do like obviously i wasn't focused on king of the court this week i was more focused on shay but in reality i still had to make sure my guys were ready right like i couldn't go in there not ready like not sure what i was doing and stuff like that i had to make sure my guy was some 
somewhat badged so he can hold it down so as of this point the grind didn't even get hard yet it didn't get hard at all because i still had stuff that i was selling like we saw dejounte murray which got us a big chunk of change we saw here that brandon miller got sold right also the amis count as a big chunk too like we can't lie i'd sold trevor and dominique that those almost got me a pack each so as of now this was all easy i think i sold two or three more players that make my life easy as well but then that's where it gets hard that's where this is gonna get extremely difficult and pretty much look impossible especially that i said i'm not selling my main squad my main guys i was hoping it was at least the ruby here it was kind of hard to tell and it turned out being the gold it actually is really easy to tell it's just in the moment you're in it and you're not really paying attention i knew i had four more packs here and i was hoping one of them would hit with a pink diamond something like that this was our first ami pull it looked like a ruby skull which was what i was really focused on like i said i really did not care about any of this stuff like this pull honestly wasn't that bad it wasn't a bad pull because obviously the amis go for a little bit but we're 19 packs in at this point like 19 that's our first shaker so i'm not stressed about pulling a diamond or a pink diamond that's not even in my mind at all i'm literally only focused on skulls right that's it so we get another ruby there that is our seventh ruby we got seven rubies seven golds so i'm satisfied with my ruby count amy count is also at four right now two diamonds and a pink diamond i'll i won't update that again i'll just say that the ends kind of when i break down the percentages and we talk about how many packs in total i just wanted to put it out there so that is our eighth ruby i don't know i just said i'm gonna stop but hey one more pack before things get a little tougher every time we go it gets a little tougher once you spend mt it gets a little tougher just remember that because that's really how it works and we get another ruby there beautiful now we had to take a break to play king of the court i was first for the first hour you see me right there i was killing it i was killing it i had really lucky matchups at the end of the day and once i got matched up versus good people i basically lost yep i was out really really fast which was fine my head was not in the game i was focused on other things and after kotc i debated selling my Apollo. i was like yo i know we need his money i don't plan to use it at this point i was still like i'm not gonna plan to use his money for shay but it could be an emergency fund just in case but after a lot of thought and stuff i decided i'll wait till next kltc to sell him i'll hopefully get him to 20 hall of fame so he could be at least 2020 and look a little bit better i'm sort of joking that extra badge isn't gonna matter he has really good badges so he's gonna go for a good chunk of change i just didn't want it to go towards sga as we finally sold sean kemp a little lower than i would have wanted but i just needed the money as y'all know when push comes to shove you got to figure out whatever it takes at this point. I'm basically out of players. All I have left was Julius Randle at this point, which wasn't going to even get me 80K as well. I knew he wasn't going to. I just was being patient. I didn't want to sell him for too little as we pull an Amethyst here, which was worth it. It really came down to if I could keep selling the players that do not matter too much, like I, I can do this. I could do this, except I had no more players that I could sell. This was a really bad pack right here. And I think this is where it all starts going bad honestly i don't remember exactly uh, that's why i'm watching it like you guys i'm a man i got my popcorn ready i know that the amount of mt spent in this video is actually mind-blowing it really is and it looks like we're still chilling all right we're still chilling hey just know it gets really dark it gets really bad it, I, it, there was a point where we kind of wanted to quit but i kept saying no i have to do it for you guys right now like i said we're still in the easy factor this is all easy this mt is coming for free more or less so we're chilling and honestly whenever i would go into the exchange and things just happen to finish up like right here we finished up got a diamond and then we realized we were close to the next diamond so that stuff just kept motivating me a little bit i was like yo we're so close then i'd come in here and be like yo this is our fourth pink diamond like we're on a pretty decent pace for no money spent and that would just keep me going to throw in more stuff get more rubies like the golds were turning into rubies kind of fast i wasn't feeling that like that was happening quick it was just kind of when you get further and further turning the amis to diamonds and then so on and so forth that's where it started getting harder obviously because it takes too long to get to two diamonds than to turn them into pink diamonds but you can get one easily more or less just like one if you needed one diamond we were able to make that happen quick so i just had to keep telling myself 
keep going most you got this now after playing somebody who's top of the league back to back games and beating them both times i realized i don't even need al harrington like he barely plays anymore i wasn't even subbing him in like that i got thorough bailey i got paulo right now so that's when i decided to sell big al for some reason i didn't check his price i thought he was going for over 100k boy was i wrong whenever i was looking through badges and stuff like that if i ever saw one like a good amount cheaper than the cheapest one i would always buy it just so when i throw mine up i would still be able to sell them for a little bit more so I, even though i wouldn't profit as much or as crazy it still made sense to me like you'll see right here as i start redeeming these I, well, all my paint patrollers were selling for two 2.4 so that 1900 one was gonna sell before mine so i was fine like taking it and then like taking that away from a little bit of the profit i was making at least i was getting another one added here and there and so many pendings so many pendings it was so annoying sitting here and waiting 2k i can't even imagine like this process like why is it a thing like why i don't understand it it really is so flawed in so many ways we've had an auction house for 700 years and like the one year you bring it back you decide this is the way to solve the issue that really isn't solved it's really not a solved issue right now and it's just hurting us as a community like I, honestly i forget so many times about so many things about the players i'm buying i get like not just distracted but annoyed frustrated like me someone who plays this game so much like i'm out here literally like the new challenges that dropped where you need to buy golds like it makes no sense at all that we need to buy gold players and wait for the pending system as we pull our first diamond i know i haven't acknowledged it yet but this whole set's diamonds kind of sucked the way i saw it though at the beginning and i'm not saying they suck like they can't play i think they all can play i think they were just all too cheap the only one that really had value was mellow and i was like hey i don't care who i pull at least it gets me some mt back for the next pack that's the only way i was seeing it the plan was to always chuck it up as one of the cheaper options so he could just sell as fast as possible but then if there was like three or so up that just went up i realized they would all kind of sell that's just kind of understanding the market knowing how long it's been out not just like fully putting it as the cheapest one so you guys can notice that here if you kind of just pay attention because i did this a lot whenever i pulled any of the diamonds i would see them all i would see how long they've been up if they've been up between the 15 minute that means all of these should sell for all these prices so technically 29.5 should be around the range i go for if i wanted to sell before them obviously i could sell it for cheaper but i didn't care how long it sold theoretically like it really didn't matter that much to a t as long as it sold and i was able to make some money so i think i was just throwing up randomly at the end of it just to make sure i got my money back asap i'm officially done showing off like the me changing golds to amis to whatever rubies to amis whatever the case is i'm done showing that aspect to it you guys just gonna understand that between games obviously between all these packs that i was still getting at the time this is obviously what i was doing and here we are trying to redeem some mt so i could open packs we're still waiting on a bunch of pendings really bad stuff i got so many badges from hitting different rep tiers from playing domination from literally playing showdown showdown gives you a lot of badges as well at the end of every week so all that stuff added up i was able to sell and then capitalize i still didn't even sell all my badges i'm gonna let you guys know that right now but it is something that i've been like i need to replenish our boy greg sold let's go big greg i peeped look at these random badges these are bronze badges that i was thinking of quick selling because they go for absolutely nothing and then i talked myself into chucking them up for three to four hundred four fifty whatever the case is just because even after tax it's a little bit more it could be 40 mt more it could be 50 mt more i was like yo i have so many slots anyway that i every single penny of mt makes a difference and i needed that i needed that i definitely did i was obviously making a little bit more than that uh, nah not even it was just like 70 mts off the bronzes maybe like 100 off the silvers but i was like i was gonna quick sell them anyway as we pulled another diamond yes a big diamond right there i was upset the ruby was not the thingy majig it was actually a gold remember rubies are five golds so like you just save so much process pulling a ruby the golds just take too long you need five of them to turn them into a ruby here i see a 90 eastern i'm excited i'm hoping it's mellow and it turns into d low which once again 
it's not too bad uh, yes he wasn't going for a lot he actually looked like a really good card but the way it really added up is he just gets me enough to get me a pack again and that's all that matters as long as i can get another pack that means i get another skull because once again we're not opening these for the players we're opening them for the skulls and when we get golds it really is depressing delo's price was not too bad actually it really wasn't too bad he was going for around 40k like i said all these should sell because they're all kind of just up now so even if i go higher I technically could sell him as long as the last 15 minutes. That's how I've always studied it. That's always worked out for me for the most part, unless these are when like packs first drop, because then like more and more are gonna keep going up and they're always gonna undersell. But if packs spin out a little bit, you know that like more people will buy then more people will pull and sell. So that's something to put into perspective for you guys whenever you guys are doing this. There was a point I kind of wanted to keep this card a little bit. Like I do like D'Lo in general. I met him a couple of times. Really cool dude. I think he gets a lot of hate for a lot of different reasons and none of it is really warranted. He's a cool dude. And now I realized Al was about to end and he was at 100k. So I had to check and I realized no one was going to bid on that card. It just wasn't going to happen. He was under that. He was 93k and honestly al is worth more so i was like i might as well just keep him even if he doesn't play because that's way too little to sell him for i hope you guys are ready for this to take over man i'm really hopeful you guys are ready because we about to really lock in to how we're making our mt and actually not even that soon because we still haven't sold al and i don't think we sold julius yet at this point so wow this actually this video is gonna be a lot longer than i thought and we've opened a lot of packs already like off the top of my head we've opened over 30 packs already so that's a lot of mt when i think about it think about that that's we're we're over 500k yes just quick maths off the top of my head we're already over half a mil i think we're gonna get way over a mil at this point that's a hundred percent accurate that is our 11th ruby all right uh it's shout out to d -Lo. he got us a ruby as well as because this is all d -Lo's money right here he got us two packs by himself nobody else indeed did this this was all d -Lo, that diamond pool we got somewhat excited for and we pulled the diamond shout out to my goat d -Lo. whenever we pulled the diamond it felt great and then you guys could just watch this we went from ruby to amy Amy to another diamond right here and that made it clear we got a pink diamond and a half yes sir nice and easy our grind was looking good right now what's wild is we were feeling good with five pink diamonds and a half and we still needed so much more we needed 14 and a half more and we were pretty much out of mt and ways to make mt so when that started happening that's when i told myself this is it i have to sell everything right like everything these are pretty much historic jerseys i was like yo i have 70 slots in the auction i'll 70 so all of them just have to be going at all times i don't care what it is i don't care how much mt i'm making like literally it could be the bare minimal of mt possibly and i will still take it better than nothing it just made no sense for my auctions not to be on full blast uh, that way even like i said this is 270 per badge these badges quick sell for like 200 or something so I, that's 70 like it adds up a little bit to be fair i feel like bronzes sold for a little bit less i started selling my coaches that were just in my collection that i wasn't using it made sense right any mt is good mt i just need mt all mt nothing but empty this is empty and if i pull good things i get encouraged whenever i pull something bad i get discouraged just remember that because hey, we're gonna get a lot of discouragement very soon now we got to a point where we had to start checking takeover prices i was like if i could start selling takeovers we might be on to something i took this one right here 350 for one that has nothing less than 1k that's a snipe even if i don't sell them right away that's great great stuff and you see that i have 70 auctions working around the clock literally around the clock even though i tried to take one that was pending there we got to stay away from the pendings man 2k I'm going to keep specifying about this pending so you guys can make it at least faster. I think it takes too long. Like, through this grind, I realized that it takes way too long, all right? Like, it's got to be quicker than that. Like, it's really painful, dreadful, and we were way too close not to open a pack. 
So I, I just was hoping one of these would end. They didn't, and that's when I started looking at my shoes, wondering if I could sell some of these. This is where the big brain most started coming along. We all know shoes are super easy to get, but I'm hopeful people want certain colorways. I was like, let me go to the park Jumbotron, right? I want to be on a big screen. Maybe I finally pull some heat from there. I want, I've been seeing people pull Wemby's. I've been seeing people pull Clay's and Kyrie's. I don't want any of that stuff. I just want pink diamond skulls, diamond skulls. I don't want nothing more, nothing less. All are empty into these packs are blood, sweat, and tears. And you see her, it's nothing more than a gold. That is our 13th gold from these packs. I played a little bit of domination in between, hoping things would sell. That way some time can go by and you guys need to see the price of this. Yes, this is a takeover. One takeover that sold for nine thousand mt i sold the takeover for 9k so there's two of them that go for this price more or less that go for a lot 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 and it's satellite as well as chef so if you ever see those in takeover packs or if you ever get them in general those you either can sell or add them to your players whichever one you prefer but they are definitely worth a lot of money they're basically just the three point ones i kept trying to see if i could find any three point ones that like were kind of expensive that i didn't recognize or something like that as i find some snipes we take those for 400 any day of the week cheapest one up once again a thousand nine fifty whatever it is any mt good mt will take the difference in between there this is the other thing i was really looking to sell a lot of times right i would go into my historic franchise like the jerseys some of the the courts i sold a lot of these throughout the year cycle so far some of them do go for a little bit of change some of them not so much but you can chuck them up for whatever price and hope they sell like whether that's 2k 5k especially if none of them are up and i actually chucked up one new thing or a couple of new things but i started chucking up my diamond shoes all right this is when i started doing it as an experiment to see if people will buy different colorways which ones are worth selling how much they sell for and i will obviously update you guys as we go now i told myself injury cards they're my bread and butter right here right i, I by accident sold that one but i realized as i was going they had stacks and I was happy. Stacks are really the big deal, right? Stacks are a big deal when you have them. You're probably asking why, and I will show you guys any second now. Let me just wait till my 70 auctions are a little bit less so I could actually throw them in there and we could take a look at how to make quicker MT selling those without having to sell them one by one. Here we go. What do we got? We got an Emmy, ladies and gentlemen. Big Emmy. I hope I did not stop showing or counting these i'm gonna have to recheck in the video regardless it seems like now i normally never ever ever take mt from breakout but at the point we're in right now this made a lot of sense we just kind of needed it right we we kind of were looking for anything to help boost us up as we get motivation and i was basically doing that stuff while things pended you see here a bunch of jerseys selling a thousand mt for some of them 1500s 1250 some are only 750 a50 it really depends on what time i sell them for so that, that's always a factor if you see something is cheap at the time you could always wait off you can always buy the cheap one to try to help yourself out that's kind of something i do sometimes as well please be good please be good we're really deep in now now we're we're closing into we're not closing in but we're getting closer to that mill obviously as we get a ruby and a big mario chalmers and an immovable enforcer one of the better badges one of the better rubies in the game i don't think mario goes for a lot but i was still excited and now that a couple things sold i'll show y'all what to do so enter stack entire stack i said enter stack i meant entire i meant enter as in like click the button that's what i meant so i have three slots to keep coming in here a lot of these stuff aren't gonna sell which really sucks but it's not always the case sometimes they sell late and then i could sell all 20 with a click of a button it's a lot lot faster than doing them individually 1500 for a stack of these it's 1000 for the stack of bronzes and that's just like quick mass you feel me just a better way more efficient way so honestly i wouldn't even like literally quick sell these unless i have 20 just to do it faster i wish these would sell if there was no pending system honestly injury cards always made me money in the past like they are a kind of a money glitch because no one notices them and you could sell them but there's no reason for them with the pending system this year there's no reason to sell them you can sell maybe at a certain time of day when no none of them are up some people buy them still i've noticed that but like 
honestly there's zero reason in my opinion it's just too long of a process like if my player is injured to wait honestly if anyone just needs advice just enter a game without that player and quit out you could literally do that three five ten fifteen times you could literally enter dom games and every time you quit out a game counts as played so it'll take a game off their injury and you're chilling but yeah after doing that i felt good too yes no more injury cards like this was the easier thing to do i obviously had plans to quick sell other things especially shoes i just wasn't ready for that time like i knew that was gonna take a lot lot longer this was kind of fast even though like some of these golds i was gonna have to do it individually and take my time with it but desperate times call for desperate measures you gotta do what you got to do and here we go we made it over i was just selling randomly i'm eventually gonna sell them all it was just like at this time i was just going through them i don't know why I, i've been going through it y'all y'all don't understand what this takes mentally to lock in like this I, it wasn't taken away from my mental like it wasn't hurting me it's just like you have to be disciplined when you do this because this is degrading this is just demotivating this just makes you feel bad sitting there and selling all this stuff to not get all this stuff you know what i mean like to just get a gold at the end like i quick sold all those as i got a satellite which was absolutely beautiful this is a glitch by the way whenever you like redeem from your auction house stuff it always gives you error and it does something like that but after replenishing putting everything back up more or less that we had we were able to go ahead and redeem i just saw a shoe guys there's a shoe at the bottom for 2500 that was literally our first shoe sale i see that julie is sold but right now i'm basically clearing out all the unsold stuff i just woke up so i obviously put a lot of time putting this stuff up but i got into a groove i started figuring it out i started learning how to do this a lot better so let me go ahead and unclear all my unsold so we could just see the stuff that was sold only 28 things sold which isn't a lot it could have been more it could have been better but that, it just shows you that like it's a part of the grind if you own a business or if even in school or at like anything work wh wherever you are if you play sports like not every day is your day you can't hit 100 of the shots you take some days you're gonna have bad days some days you're not gonna have a good sale like some days things like that happen that's out of your control the best thing you could do is try your best and i i tried my best right i, I put up all the stuff that i can I, I made it like where everything has an opportunity to sell whether it does or not and i'm seeing a lot of shoes sell for 1000 2000 like literally these t-max were kind of interesting that they saw like that but i was learning i was actually putting them up for buy nows too so these weren't even bids people were buying these as is and my satellite i put it up for six thousand i always put buy nows i don't let people bid just in case so nothing undersells for what i want i think i could have got more for that satellite but i was fine we made it to 100k all we sold there was julius we still had al harrington that's the only other player i'm gonna sell I promise you guys no other players so overall the players i sold weren't even that crazy it wasn't even that much overall we do get a ruby here so that is good that tells me that it's gonna get bad soon because i'm still no for a fact there's gonna be a dry spell yes i'm telling you guys now i'm warning you guys uh, this grind gets really hard at some point and I, like i said i was thinking about quitting at some point i was right now we're getting rubies so whenever i get a ruby i'm not feeling that i'm not feeling like oh this is terrible oh i hate this oh i want to stop i'm like no this is good this is what i want at least for 18k that's the least that i want as i get a diamond the big diamond most and on ball men is silver that's cute 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 pretty if you're watching this far like if you're watching this step by step i appreciate you more than you ever know you're the real mvp i hope this isn't too boring i feel like it might be i know i'm dropping a little gems here and there like i'm helping you guys in some ways with the shoes the takeovers i hope this is helpful in some case scenario if you skip to the end you don't even hear me right now so i'm gonna call you a loser i'm kidding you're not a loser but you don't see this you don't see this you need to see this the excitement our second ever pink diamond pool ladies and gentlemen two of them things that's excitement that's excitement we do get a ruby ball just so you guys know if you pull any of these like balls paws uh, from packs like the ruby ball the emerald ball the amethyst those crack you literally add them to your lineup and when you win games, they have a chance to crack a lack. 
crack a leg, we get a diamond. I'm not even talking about the player. I'm talking about the skull. Big Diamond Scully, Diamond Scully with the diamond player. B Melo, only one that sell it. I don't know, honestly, but yo, all the diamonds in this set were cheap. Whenever I saw Eastern, I was like, yay. And then I saw Rebound, and I was like, Monroe. Monroe, Josh Smitty, yo, Josh actually went for a little bit too, I didn't notice, I kind of wanted to keep him, I like Josh in general, especially in 2k, but I was like, yo, that's money right there, that's money, but before we go check the money, we gotta focus on the big things at hand, and that's the Scullies, Scullies are important right now, that's all I care about, I wasn't worried about nothing else, nobody else you couldn't tell me nothing when i was getting pink diamond skulls that's all i gotta say we didn't get an amy but we knew we could get to amy and get another one that was back to back to start our morning we just had woken up this was a great start to a new day you know i just woke up whenever all my auctions are lined up like that because usually I, otherwise i would be doing it more frequently but if i wake up all my options are waiting for your boy. It's like waking up to the stock market. It's like waking up on Christmas, actually. That's what it feels like. Waking up on Christmas, looking under the tree, seeing our pink diamond scully presents. And that was a great start. I felt really good that morning on Sunday morning. I was like, yes, yes, I needed those. Those were definitely necessary as we see that Josh is going for over 60,000. I felt so great. That's three packs. That's the only way I was looking at it. And I'll be honest with you guys. I know we're going to calculate this in the amount of MT it costs. And rightfully so, right? This obviously is calculated because I am pulling packs with this MT. But we should technically subtract the players I pulled, right? Like, I should technically subtract the MT from Josh, the MT from Greg, the MT from D'Lo, because honestly, I didn't earn that, right? That was just given to me back from a pack. So I will actually calculate all that. I'm down for it. Why not? We'll just say, we'll make it easy. I'll say Greg, we take off a pack. We say D'Lo, we take off two. And Josh, we take off three. I'm obviously going to show you the final first. And then that way we can calculate it just with out the actual pulls we pulled because what if we pull Wemby or something what if we do not play not playing i'm kidding i'm kidding here we go our last attempt at selling al harrington i decided to go for it again because i put him back on my lineup and realized i don't use him i don't use him so here i felt like his price went up a little bit more so i was like yo i can literally sell him for 90 if i want mine's badged out compared to the other ones though so i'm like i think he could go for 100 maybe if i'm lucky and that way people are probably thinking you have to bid but this way they just kind of see him for that price and take him and while i was looking at prices for shoes and whatnot take a look at what happened ladies and gentlemen bang just like that we saw al harrington came through josh smith came through and they were done pending so that was beautiful great smart educated idea about the al harrington people don't realize the difference between 100k and bidding 100 so that's why some cards go unbidded if it's around 100 that's what happened with me with shingun i had shingun at some point i couldn't sell him for 100 bid like he wasn't going for higher so as soon as i made it 100 flat i actually did it the same way where it was 99 999 whatever 50 whatever it is and it actually sold instantly as well which literally made no sense because all you have to do is click the button once but we're a lot of packs in right now we are way over 40 packs and if you do the math on that that's crazy like already off rip is crazy that is another ruby to our collection we got a lot of packs this time so i was a little bit more hopeful that i would get maybe another diamond or something to help me like if i got another josh smith if i got another mellow but it wasn't my main focus it was my main focus was avoiding avoiding golds right i wanted to get more rubies than golds and at this point i actually have three more rubies total than golds pulled which i didn't expect i didn't expect uh, the, the odds weren't the worst thing in the world but they obviously weren't the best either like if we when i do the percentages at the end which we're getting to we're getting closer to the end even though it might not feel it this does speed up a little bit and even though i i said it doesn't it, it does get harder for me but the way you guys are going to watch it will hopefully be a little easier, especially that I won't have to explain every little thing I'm doing. I just wanted it to be clear how I was making this money so people don't question it. So people don't think I uh, sold my soul. So people, I mean, I kind of did, but now I play. So people don't think like, I don't know, like, oh, how do you make this much MT? Where'd you get this MT from? Oh, you just had a lot of MT. Like, no, that's not the case. I was messing up a couple times like this where I forget before I open stuff 
to have my queue kind of have space so i would have to quick sell which wasn't too bad it's not like the card will sell for that much more in general we got two more packs right here and then i could finally breathe i need to drink some water i feel like i've been talking for too long this as a voiceover was tough we finally pulled a pink diamond there i'm not excited because literally my throat hurts pause like i just this, this grind's harder now when I'm doing the video. I shouldn't have done it as a voiceover. I should have done it clean throughout. I just thought it would be easier to keep track, like I said. And I think I'm keeping track pretty well right now, which is the most important thing so I can tell you guys and update you guys properly. That's another Amethyst. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is amazing. I love it. I think at this point, I can actually tell you guys kind of how much MT we've spent on packs. Like an average, not really crazy, like on point real time type vibe i'm actually gonna just do it um like an estimate but we're at at least 900k at this point that's actually crazy it doesn't feel like it like i said I, like because you guys saw how i made that empty it wasn't anything special it was just selling shoes and badges and whatnot and then uh, yeah i sold a couple players but none of them played for me it was none of them sold for that much it wasn't even crazy like the only one that sold for a lot was Dejounte. And we will say Al Harrington sold for 100 as well. But overall, it took me 900k about to get nine pink diamonds and one diamond. Okay, so each pink diamond costs about 100k with grinding. Let's not forget, I was playing the game too. Like I was making some gold turn into diamonds eventually. Yes, it was taking a while, but we were getting there. Now, this was my favorite game mode. I'm just telling you off rip because I made 800 MT pretty much every time I would play solos. Look at the stat lines for my guys. Josh Hart, two blocks, 14 points. Pop, like everyone was just playing really well. And I wish I would show you guys gameplay, but this video would be way too long. Maybe another time, maybe for the video for our 500 park wins, you know, I'm gonna get there. But look at the stat lines and look at the 800 mt up top unfortunately it caps at 800 there's nothing we could do about that i was hoping for another really good takeover there we didn't get one but these two gold packs were nice they were adding up as well as we get 20 piece right there 2k had an event on sunday which gave us a pink diamond for a five game winning streak right we know all about that you guys can see here we badges sell for the most right for everything that i had left even though some of them didn't but that's literally all i was selling we get a lot of badges from opening these packs from all the other stuff i was telling you guys domination if you guys want badges domination get your rep up you make more and more badges save them for times like this sell them when they're high sometimes they're higher than others i will make a video on which badges are the best to sell and which ones to focus on especially when you have option packs little things like that i do get to a point in this video where i was chasing option packs you guys will understand what i'm saying in a second but this was only going to get me one pack and then we were going to have to find a way to get more and more. We ended up pulling an Amethyst from this pack, which was nice. And two players. I don't say no to players because I could sell those. It actually sucks because like those players I was selling for dirt cheap. Like I'm talking dirt, dirt cheap. And I like lightning launch, but I was always chasing the ones that had the better packs, right? Like there was so many better ones overall. Like Challenger here looks so appealing, but I always still had to check to see which would go for a little bit more. You you want to be able to capitalize whenever you can so you don't want to like leave money on the table right you want to take what the best option i went to go open a pack here and it said i don't have enough mt i was literally 13 mt short what is 13 mt guys y'all couldn't just give me that right there you have to force me to quick sell and then what do we pull right here I want another diamond, pink diamond, heat on heat on heat, and we do get a diamond. That is beautiful. Literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Especially that I almost always had another diamond on deck, so that just made it that we had another pink diamond. That was our 10th. We just hit the halfway point and it was time to make another diamonds, right? I don't like not having diamonds. I like diamonds. Diamonds are nice. Diamond over everything around me. Don't question what I be saying. I'm just on a different level right now, but we're at 10 and a half. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to speed this part up. I just need to show you guys what was really happening. I realized gold shoes 225 for quick sell, right? 225. We have almost 15 pages. Almost. It's 14 pages. 14 with 15 on it. 
Do the math in your head. 15 times 15 is 225. Take away 15. That's 210. 210 at 225 each. That's about 200K each. You already know we're making over 40K quick selling these things. So that's big money. That's two packs easily. Straight up easily. I had to go through it right here. We had to get it done without any questions. So here we go, fast forwarding. This is the last couple right here. So obviously these are just the golds. We could do the same thing for the silvers. We could do the same things for the bronzes, which was all a part of my plan. I knew it was gonna take too long though, overall. And we have a lot of silvers, not as much. Oh, actually it's more, but like they don't quick sell for as much, right? 150 each, but we're gonna get to that. We, we go get to that. It's gonna take us a while as well, but let's go ahead and continue opening packs just in case it can get me a little juvenated, rejuvenated, excited into it. We fire, we hype. I was hype after I hit the halfway mark. I was like, all right, we good, we chilling. We got this, we have a lot of time left. I don't know what 2k had in store for us at the time what plans they had for this journey if they were gonna add a lot of new stuff a little bit what the goal was I was hoping they would add us four grindable ones it didn't seem like that was gonna happen but that's what I was hopeful for and it didn't happen that way so I had to just keep my head down straight focus laser focused and just pay attention as we were able to get another pack another one another one we were definitely over a mil at this point i was hoping the ami was down the middle which it only made sense because it would have shook otherwise and there's no ami coaches you could pull so that was nice it was definitely nice right there to get an ami to close out i obviously went ahead and quick sold the silvers i'm just showing you guys pretty much the last stint right here this was really annoying it was really boring i wish the weekend mass quick sell i'm just gonna say this 2k because i was messing up a lot because i was clicking too many different buttons but you guys got away to literally literally click on all the things to lock in right that's what you guys have you have that method down so why can't we do the same exact thing and mass quick sell like i can click on everything and then just click sell i'm pretty sure that was in a 2k like in 16 or something like so long ago i'm pretty sure we had an option like that where we could quick sell multiple things at once you guys did a better job where we can open up everything at once in the pack queue or at least a lot of things you should also make it where we click on what we want to open similar to the ascension board where you get to pick which ones you want to do at the same time that's just a suggestion that's just me kind of saying things that i would like because of how tedious i am in this game like i do all the little things as we pull a diamond right there that is actually pretty that is really really pretty it's beautiful we get set shot which goes for a good amount of change and we get one of those ruby basketballs those go for a good amount as well about a 2k or so which every penny counts as you guys are noticing right now you guys are definitely noticing that and we got another ruby beautiful that is our 20th ruby skull from pex that doesn't really show you guys how many we've like gotten that overall it, it, it just tells you that we've opened a lot of packs that's what 20 actually means we had a really bad selling stretch where a lot of things didn't sell i went like with a lot of unsolds unfortunately it happens it happens i don't have to keep alliterating that or whatever the word is you guys know what i mean but sometimes things don't sell sometimes you can't control that it, it just is what it is as long as like immovable enforcers were selling for 5k and there's only 13 things in here but you see we are at 20k and every penny counts i don't care what it is it just made sense you'll see we're jumping up we're easily opening two packs shout out to the immovable enforcers those definitely helped us get there without a doubt but everything else the 1ks are 900 a piece so even if there's three of them that's 2700 so like it helps every penny counts i keep saying that and i really mean that i, I genuinely do i think a lot of you guys have a lot of things in your collection you don't realize is there and that's kind of why i did this to kind of show you guys that's why i've been showing you guys like takeovers your injury cards you don't really need that many injury cards there's a way to like kind of make more money than you guys realize the shoes that are selling as we pulled the diamond there which was absolutely gorgeous and here is the next pack what do we get 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 on out of here give me a gold is nasty work absolutely nasty but even though we didn't pull anything you guys see all of these yes you do you see all of them there's even a pink diamond one there we, we just I scrolled over it really fast because that's not important I just have to make sure we do this right and this is where I believe people started telling me like bro what are you doing why are you doing those individually are you on drugs they that's what they thought that's what they assumed they started telling me to press triangle and I guess I didn't notice till this point or maybe they told me a little after I guess they didn't notice that I was doing it this way because who would have thought 
a couple days into this, over 11 of these in, I still had no idea that I could just press triangle. That's mainly because I really don't do the exchange. As we went ahead, opened that, we got the pig diamond. That was from the big streak we had in park. That was a good one. I'm glad 2K added that one. I wish they added more. I definitely do. And at this point, I'm still confused why I haven't clicked triangle yet. And all I know is that we're at 12 and a half. 12 and a half with a good amount of rubies. Those rubies turn into two amis, which is closer to a diamond. But let's go ahead and flip these as well. I guess we'll go ahead and open the regular packs first. I don't want to know what's in them without knowing what's in them. Let me get a ruby gem of the game. That's all I ask for. I'll take a sapphire gem of the game. Don't be anything else. Yep, I trade my gems of the games in the exchange. If anyone doesn't know, I've been doing that a little bit. I still haven't fully done an exchange yet, but we're working on it slowly but surely. And I was hoping we could get a skull from here, and we clearly could not. But yeah, this is when chat basically woke me up. You saw how many rubies we had there? I was just clicking triangle one time. Bro, the amount of time that could have saved me in my life. Bro, those are times I can't get back. That is crazy. I learned something new from you guys. I do learn a lot of things from you guys. That's a, what life is all about, right? Learning, giving back. You guys teach me. I teach y'all. It's a part of, like, we. no one knows everything. Nobody. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be the richest person in the world. You still don't know it all. I just need you guys to understand that. Like, take every day, lesson by lesson. It's okay that you mess up. It's all about learning process. You saw that? I just checked to see how many there was, and then I clicked triangle. And now we got our 13th pink diamond. Lucky number 13. Now, as I was doing this, I would check certain prices of, like, the ones I have a lot of. Like, you see, I have a lot of these. And I was like, yo, if I just quick sell these, that's 2K, right? I, I literally get 2K for selling 10 of these. Let me just do that because, honestly, there's no reason to chuck in these up. And you guys can see at the top, we have 70 auctions flowing right now. 70 on them things. I started getting into the groove that even during the day when I was still playing, it didn't just have to be at night. It could be during the day. We got 70 bad boys, bad boys. What they gonna do when we pull some rubies? Let's go quicker a little bit. Here we go. Quick selling these. Quick sell, quick sell, whatever, whatever. Quick sell bronze shoes. You knew this was gonna take a while. I don't remember how many pages there were, but there's obviously more pages of bronzes than silvers and golds combined. I'm lying, obviously, but it did take a while. We got to 30K right here. That's another pack at least. And then hoping that the auctions are done pending. Some of them did. Nice. Lightning launch, 5K. Lightning launch, a nice nice sleeper badge. It really is. It's one of those good badges that do be going. You see here, we have a clinic for 1300 You know what that is, right? That's a takeover. Pay attention to that, guys. Shoes are pending. 600 apiece. They quick sell for three, which honestly means I only made 240 after tax. But 240 a piece at 600 is fine. Even if I sell for five, that's an extra 150. A lot of them were selling for 750 or a thousand or some even more. You guys noticed, you saw that. I finally sold Thabo Cephalosha. I don't know if you guys saw that. He was still pending for 12K though. So I was like, I don't know why I'm still keeping him type thing. I almost said type. Nah, it is type vibes, man. This is just the vibe. And this is where it gets bad. I'm positive. I'm positive. But look, all this time, it wasn't even bad yet. But it's about to get bad here, literally. Like, I am I know for a fact, I opened like 10 straight golds. Like, I know that for a fact. I'm just telling y'all right now, bro, it was bad. Like, I would trade this Ami Shaker any day for an Ami Skull, any day. And 2K heard me say that because they gave me a 75 mid-range. I was already, like, torn. I was like, who is this? 75 mid-range is disgusting. And no offense, Bron, my fault, King. You just a series one player. I was like from the set, like 75, that's so bad. And I honestly thought this card was going for a lot less than it was. Like I really thought it would be like 5K, 6K, something like that. But he was going for around nine, which actually wasn't too bad. All I need is one thing to be done pending. See a pair of shoes, nine hundo. We see that. Come on, can I confirm? Confirm, boys. Confirm. Give me my money. Just give me my money. Chalmers sold for 4.5. I put up the prices. It's not like that people are bidding on it. Like, I literally threw it up for that price. So I can't even be mad. I don't know why I said it like that. Like, I was upset. Like, an only, only? Nah, it's not only, bro. That's what I asked for. That's what I get. And you see this. Another gold. This is the gold spell. But that's what I was telling you. That basketball actually cracks. I'll show you in a sec. Couple of things finished pending here. 
Talbo, man, why can't everything finish pending at the same time? I still don't have enough, right? We still don't have enough. Thankfully, we were pulling injury cards. We were pulling shoes. So I would just have to go and manually sell those after. And I would literally chuck up shoes or little things like that in the meantime until things finish pending. That way, the 70 keep going at 70. And my hopes is just one or two things finish selling so I could redeem open packs. That was literally my method. This was the method. I was showing you guys this on stream. I told you guys mad times it's not worth it. I can't wait to see how much MT this actually costs because we're still really far. It's actually wild that we're still far. I don't even know how we're going to get here. Like, like, I know we made it. But I don't know how we got here. I generally do not as we pull a ruby right there. If there was no pending, we get there a little faster for sure. For sure. That's that's another reason 2K did this. They, they want to keep us on the game. They want us constantly playing. They want us waiting, chilling, doing other things. Like, wh why else is this here, bro? Why else? Shout out to Bron selling 9.5. He gets us another pack on his lonesome. That's king status. I don't know what I'm saying, bro. I'm just chatting. That's chatting at its finest, guys. I, I literally don't even know how to redeem my stuff properly. I don't know how to do anything at this point. I'm just sitting here staring. I wish I did this live. Only because I wanted to you guys to see like the actual effort. Because there was there was a lot of it. There was a lot of emotions. This gem at a game pull is low-key a sleeper right there. I'm very close to stop showing you guys me redeeming this. None of these stuff are special. And a lot of the times I'm just sitting here waiting. But I don't want anyone to think like, oh, you bought something like or anything like that. That's the reason I've really been showing you guys step by step. So if you guys are cool with me speeding this up a little bit, I don't want this video to be too long. That's all I'm going to say. I just, I'm scared you guys are going to be mad at me that this video is way too long, too annoying, anything of that nature. So uh, if you guys are, are fine, I can, I don't know. I don't know. How am I going to know if you guys are fine? I guess you guys are going to have to watch my pendings for real. And I guess it's all worth it when we pull something, right? I'm, I'm, I'm tired right now. I'm tired. I've, I've literally been talking for like the past two hours right now or something. We got a Palo. Hello. Hello, Palo. I played some salary cap. Salary cap gives good MT plus that way I can earn. There was like a 5k slot and a 10k slot on there. So I was like, if I could get to them, that's money right there that I didn't have, right? I just want the money. I showed you guys that you can get a hidden gem from there. I showed you guys what I got. I was satisfied with the hidden gem overall. We literally sold our next floor for 1500 Is that not a glitch? I really hope y'all realize I'm putting y'all on, man. I am putting y'all on for life. Like, straight up, your boy got y'all. What we got here? Is that an Emmy? Yes, it is. Finally. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know where this basketball came from, but it came from somewhere and it cracked. So I took it. I'll show you guys the other balls I was talking about. But we got a badge deluxe pack, which I will never say no to at all. It's fire. The reason it's fire is simple. And that's because we get three things we could sell or potentially sell. I'm hoping for one of the great badges. Obviously, not all three. I'm cool with just one good one. And we get a pain patroller, which is decent. Box out beast is okay. So eh, it's not the worst thing in the world. It could have been worse, could have been better. It is what it is at the end of it. We get an Emerald Gus Williams, Gems of the Games. We take those. And honestly, the best thing about like salary cap in general was that you were getting three golds instead of one. So you guys could tell this is still Sunday night. Um, I'm still grinding there or I was actually probably the morning because I, I stayed up all that whole night I definitely did because I knew the packs were gonna disappear So I stayed up for a good amount of change before I did end up going to sleep and like always I went to quick sell a couple things here or there and I was short again I didn't even realize it. I don't know why I wasn't noticing it. It's 375. It's such a random number like I was not noticing that at all. So then I would come back in here and I would realize I don't even know what else to quick sell because a lot of the times that was really it. So I would have to go look for a bronze or silver shoe. And then I realized that like one of them actually sold. So the pending process ended. Oh, process, process. That's what this was. It was a process indeed. I hope you guys are enjoying the journey. It definitely was one hell of a journey. And I think I'm done showing you guys every step of the way. Otherwise, this video is going to be never ending as we pull a diamond right there. You guys are going to just have to trust it at this point of everything I was selling. And that way we could just kind of like open more packs or something like that way. You just see the MT come through. You don't have to see every single one. And look at this beautiful trade off. We traded for another diamond to make sure we got the diamonds for the pink diamond. So this is 14, 14 to 20. We're still six away. 
six bad boys away and that's that's a long ways away here is our gold bowl cracking just so you guys can see this is a thing and the ones you get from rep those don't crack so you got to know the difference we got 1500 mt right there the moment i said i'm done showing you guys things there's 37 pending auctions they're mainly shoes you guys can see it they're literally mainly shoes okay so that's all it is they're not going to add up to too much but you guys will see that every penny, when the, when it's a lot of them, when you're selling 37 of anything, even if you sell them at a dollar, that's $37, you get me? So obviously, this is going to be a little bit of change. And there, that made it a little bit better. I kind of scrolled through it, so it went a little bit faster. Here we go. We basically only got two packs, barely. And we're barely going to get that second one, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and quick sell something. One of these badges, 225, just quick sell a couple. I, I actually, the math, not mathing in my head right now, how many I'd have to quick sell so i guess we'll stop at around 36 even though that's not right math we still need a little bit more we'll probably need like 700 like 36.7 or something like that oh uh, yeah that's literally what it is 750 but hopefully i get something from here that i could quick sell as well and that will push us over the hump regardless we're good we're chilling we get a ruby that's hopefully what that is and it was that's a big ruby i can't wait to see the percentages of the rubies and stuff i pulled and yeah we were definitely short so 200 per versatile visionary we'll go ahead and quick sell enough here i know the amount now <laughs> it took me forever but i know it's 375 okay that's it took me 375 hours i guess to notice that uh, i don't know it was just whatever at this point it is what it is if we're that close they might as well just open you know that's what i'm saying another emmy right there here is our silver ball cracking i don't know where i even got all these balls i guess from opening these packs probably we got a takeover and it wasn't a good one in between games we went ahead and redeemed a couple things you see one of those ruby camo balls sold for 2.75 we sold some giraffe and pig balls as well now the good news is 2k dropped us a couple challenges that monday right they dropped us some challenges for mainly goats but it did have those other ones as well where you can get a random one from so that was cool plus if we did them all we got a guaranteed pink diamond so we can still pull some good stuff from these event cards this is our first look at the random skull event packs i've seen people pull diamonds pink diamonds from these i'm cool with anything higher than a gold anything higher than gold uh, even a ruby is fine it's fine i obviously would have wanted an ami a diamond pink diamond obviously like anyone would have but it's fine. Like, I'm obviously going to get this done anyway. I'm, I'm too good at this, bro. I, I dug this for a living. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys what grinds I had that were harder. Giving me a gold is tough, though. Y'all could have blessed me a little bit better than that. Just a little bit. Since we're here, I might as well open these random hidden gems. I got these from, like, salary cap or something. I don't even know, bro. It doesn't really matter. We got a Sapphire Jordan Clarkson. I'm sure he's a beast. Followed by another Sapphire Sapphire Walker. I definitely have this card unless I already got rid of him but i definitely had him at one point in life probably exchanged him or something so we got nine things all cheap all cheap but it should get us enough for a pack literally just exactly enough it's actually wild it was like on the dot on the money let's go back to updating our sheet it's been a while we got a diamond player and a diamond scully that is nice that is 10 diamond skulls actually so if i really look at that that is five pink diamonds i got really blessed that is a blessing i don't think i get any more diamonds i don't know actually i really don't remember I, i'm like i said i'm doing this with you guys we doing this live in the flesh raymond felton he's definitely the cheapest one all i could hope for is he gets me enough literally just enough to open another pack that would be ideal that would be great i started getting desperate for mt so what i did was i would lock in any card that is unsellable and any sellable card i would go ahead and throw it into our auctions i think that was like the only way we had a chance i'm serious it was hard so whatever it was i don't care if you were a gem of the game i don't care if you're a series one i, I was gonna give it a shot to sell you i was also doing a bunch of other challenges in the meantime not just these but i realized the, the deluxe packs challenges i forgot to do them like the ones you know where there's shards and they connect like those i was not doing those so i had to start completing these so here we go let's open those maybe i'll just pull like wemby or something right here off the bat and then i don't even care about shay ever again so we have all the pieces in the puzzle right we got the two other things 
So that means I think I got the, I don't remember. I don't remember. No, no, we still had some more challenges. I don't remember how these challenges work because there's so many different parts now, but I will take any player it gives us no matter what, especially that they're unsellable. It's not like I have a choice, but hopefully it's more new cards that I don't have and higher overalls in general that will always help us in the long run as we get a Sapphire. He is one that I already have unsellable. So there was nothing I could do here. He had to either be exchanged or quick sold. 500 MT is 500 MT at the end of the day. I will never say no to that. Give me the money. I want the money. Back to back sapphires. That was tough. It really was tough. Nothing good here at all. So we basically just did the challenges just to do the challenges, but we did finish up and complete the whole set. So we did get in our next pink diamond. Yes, sir. A lot of pink diamonds. We closing in to the finish line. This is where I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. There were other things in the way, obviously, like the fact that I had no money, but we saw it. 16 pink diamonds meant we were really close. And we had a chance right here to get maybe two diamonds, maybe a pink diamond. We could have literally got three pink diamonds right here. So I really could be technically done if I just get blessed right here. Never have to spend another penny. That obviously plays into just being lucky but i wasn't expecting any of that we do get an ammy which is good that's literally a third of the way to a diamond which is technically a sixth of the way to the pink diamond i kept breaking it down like that to make myself feel better even with the rubies i would make myself feel better and i don't even remember that i pulled a diamond here so that's really great so you really couldn't make that up that's half a pink diamond that was really good that was special i, I think even without these i still make it with this obviously made it easier that's another ammy that's honestly as close as you'll get to a pink diamond without pulling a pink diamond yeah that's really really close because that's 50 percent and then that's 66 percent of the 50 the other 50 so that's a really high percentage right there that is that is really high 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 you can't make that up i love it i genuinely do i think it's great I think it's been fun uh, just grinding for this stuff, just working hard and making it happen. And you guys are going to see here, we do land our 17th pink diamond. Thanks to those random pieces. Definitely helped out a lot. Shout out to the people who told me to click triangle. You guys saved me so much time. I wish you would have told me sooner that you could have saved me some sanity. I could have got more skulls and sold more things just by knowing the safe time there. Now, there was one other way I was making MT during this grind, and it was exhibitions just every day, getting my 250s, my 500s. Those little values that would just add up at the end of it, these all sold for under 1K, and that is fine. These are like the gold players that I, I basically had in my collection that were not locked in that I was able to throw in there. So that should get me closer to another pack, hopefully. And man, this video could have been so much shorter if I just did that. Just like literally started it and then just finished it. You guys could have not, like you would have believed everything in between, right? You would have seen the stuff in between. You would have known that it was just in the cycle. I was just scared that someone would say, yo, you did this and that, and we didn't know. And here I was confused if it was the diamond or Amy. I got, I knew it couldn't have been like, like, you know what I mean? That the, the Amy couldn't be anything but a skull at the end of it. It had to be that. Just know this was frustrating because it really could have been a diamond skull, like the way I saw it the first time. So I forgot to sell Raymond Felton. He's going for the price of a pack pretty much, 19K or so. That's not bad. That's definitely good. I also pretty much have all the rubies. So like, I just had to throw those up as well. And obviously looking back now, I completely regret selling the rubies for that cheap, but I didn't know they would add challenges where you need specific cards like if i knew that obviously i would have kept them but we had no idea this was monday they added those on tuesday so i had no way of ever noticing or having an idea that that would happen i assumed if anything they would just need us to have certain cards and look at this beauty right here guys i had another diamond and it was another shoe i pulled back to back diamond shoes just to troll me they literally just wanted to troll me like that i actually don't know if they boosted the odds on diamond shoes in general because it seemed like it it definitely seemed like it because i kept pulling them from even random packs like those are fire because they're halloween themed and unfortunately we had nothing to do with these we couldn't swap them so i had to quick sell i kept the playbook so in hopes to sell for 250 if possible but we were closing in on having enough pink diamonds so i really wasn't worried about what i was pulling and stuff i just had to just stay committed to the grind shoes was my bread and butter it seems like it it seems like shoes really blessed us throughout this whole thing it was the real mvp right it was the little mvp that could that would that helped us get over the hump whether it was the bronzes that i quick sold silvers golds or the diamonds that i was selling for a little 
little teeny bit more. What did we get here, guys? What did we get? An Emmy. Yay, big Emmy. Now, as always, shout out to Salary Cap. We hit the 10K plateau. Even with losing games, this mode is so fire because it rewards you no matter what. I like it. I like it. I think that you guys should play it if you have never played it before. I was hoping it would get us closer to opening another pack, but unfortunately, nothing else sold. So I had to take matters into my own hands. I did quick sell a couple of these. Like, if I saw them never really selling for a lot, like if they were just kind of hovering at like 500 and staying there for a while i would just be like whatever i'll take the 300 i really don't care there were a couple shoes i tried to sell throughout maybe i was putting them too high but like some of them like if you see a bunch of 500s you know they're not gonna sell they're just not gonna sell or you might have to wait till one day no one has them you probably best to wait till an athlete from jordan brands for example drops and that, that makes the most sense at the end of it right like when curry drops you sell curry shoes when you do this i've always said that but at this rate, we kind of just wanted to make money. So none of that stuff mattered to me. We make diamond shoes so fast. I have a billion unsellable diamond shoes. So that was another aspect to it as we pull a gold right here. Now, here we are Tuesday morning. Yes, Tuesday morning, 43 pended complete. Yes, 43 things. So no matter how much I sell them for, I know I'm golden. The top three were gems of the game. That's why they were selling for 5K. There was none up. So I just put them up for any price. Maybe I could have got a little more, but I was fine with it. Honestly, I, I definitely undersold a lot of these badges and I'm cool with it. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. 44K for your boy. That's two guaranteed packs. And then we're a little step towards the next one. What we got right here, little mama. Nothing, nothing straight golds. That's how we doing back to back straight gold packs. It seems like, oh man, it, it was tough. It was tough. Like whenever you see like just, I don't know. I can't explain it. I genuinely felt like 2K was testing me a lot. Like they were testing my mental toughness, my fortitude. Like they were seeing if I was about this life. Can I really keep going? Especially when they would drop gold after gold after gold when I felt close. They get a diamond player, which did make me feel a lot better because I was like, at least I'll make enough MT back. That's something, once again, I want to factor in when we do the total of how much MT we spent. I do want to note that all of these are not really me buying or spending my MT as we pull out. Hello, hello, Jay, AKA Joshy Smitty, Jay Smooth. He's not going for as much as he was before, honestly. He's kind of down. I don't like that. I don't like that he a little down right now. That's definitely tough, especially that he is a hollow. I was hoping to sell him for a little bit more, but then I saw that hollow one that just went up for 60 62.5 for some reason at the time i didn't realize it just went up so it made me think like i have no shot at selling for more than that even though i probably had a decent shot at it it was definitely possible i definitely should have looked into it a little bit more i don't know why like i just didn't see the time that's something different i usually do and we're getting closer to another diamond we just basically need a ruby to turn into an ami or two rubies actually we need two rubies to turn into an ami and then we'll get one more diamond definitely definitely undersold like i said he sold really quick even the pending felt quick on this one i don't know why but we're at 70k which means we have three packs thanks to josh smith i don't know why i said 70 i forgot about tax for a second see that's how you know we tired we just were going through the mood i'm just glad i got this video out like we're getting it out today so i have a couple more days if i want to get some more stuff done anything like that we get our 25th gold like like expect me to get some more skulls all right expect some more tomorrow nothing crazy but now we can focus on the other things i definitely want to get coach spo he's definitely on my radar so hopefully like i can get this a little bit faster here you guys don't know how much longer it's gonna take but hopefully a little bit faster and this is what i was talking about we went on dry spells a lot where it was just all golds like now i have more golds than any other pull but third time is the charm three in a row bless me for the third one this two other ones were bad i got an ami down the middle so that was good right there that way i can push myself to at least a diamond and make myself feel better through the exchange i knew that was the case and that actually did make me feel a little bit better a little bit closer was 
like you know it was just fulfilling like that we're there bad little refresh here after a couple games was able to sell a couple things i don't actually have a lot of things up I, I really was struggling here this is where i really had nothing else to sell it was just like bro i'm only selling the things i pull now and honestly 2k was toying with me with these new parts this part three was a troll because i just sold a bunch of those players i don't know if you noticed them in that last refresh when i was clicking but i had just put them up too before these dropped so now i was like yo i have to hope one of these events go crazy and blesses me because all those cards underselling hurt it definitely hurt we got an on ball menace to sell one of the best badges so i, I undersold obviously it was fine it was fine i had a bunch of them usually if i get one like from something like if i just pulled it i'm fine putting it up because it's like i just got it so whatever i don't really care we got an ammy here i'm hoping for not lebron because the rest of the pack sucked with the gold there so i'm hoping for someone that goes for a little bit more and we got blessed with fabo cephalosha do y'all see the resemblance well when i was in high school i had better hair i definitely had his type of hair so I did kind of look a little bit more like him, especially when I got a little tanner. But the way I saw it is I got to do the challenges, right, with Thabo and then sell him for a little more than he was selling before. And we saw this deluxe. I wanted to take the 2010 portal, but I was like, yo, that's another player that I could do a challenge for for another skull. We played a lot more breakout the past couple days than I did the past season. Like this season, I really wasn't on breakout and we ended up pulling an emerald. I was just hoping for someone new and it was someone that I could get a gold skull for doing their challenges. And not only were we doing the gold skull challenges, we were doing a lot of things. Obviously, we were trying to knock out mad things. I actually got the 30 points with an Amy in breakout. I was proud of myself. Shout out to Thabo. He was green light. He was hitting everything. And we were at 17 and a half so we couldn't stop now right 17 and a half no matter how hard it was getting no matter how much i wasn't like i was just getting golds at this point or whatever like i was hoping one of these events would hit i just got two there was one more for us as well as a diamond skull those diamond skulls would add up two i kept looking at it that way that's a halfway marker to another pink diamond and honestly the second diamond one the part three didn't seem that likely it didn't seem that attainable it didn't seem like i could make it happen but everything else seemed like it was a part of our ballpark as we pull amy here we don't have to calculate these i almost put them in but we don't have to calculate them because they're not packs bro i honestly I, i'm scared of calculating the math on how much mt on packs because it, it's it's looking like 1.5 mil it might be not even enough i think it looks like it's more we go ahead here throw in the two emmys for a diamond that should push us over the hump those were clutch that gets us number 18 we're two away from sga we got the two park wins which means we got a diamond that's 18 and a half every time i got another one i felt close if i could get a diamond from this random event that's number 19 chat 19 i don't know why i call y'all chat y'all the youtube fam you fam bro y'all not chat ladies and gentlemen you fam as i get a golden it's okay we're so close we can taste it i smelled i meant to say taste it then smell it but i guess you smell it first and then you taste it so i guess that works we smell it we smell it we're so close can i what am i not redeeming for i don't remember what i was looking at bro i do not remember i need my tabo cephalo shamani it's taking a while it's delayed right now it's not me it's not me it's not me it's not me i want to know how much mt this cost me from start to finish till this point we've opened almost 100 packs almost so we get in there that better be the ammy down the middle and it is that's number 19 from the ammy side we knocked out a couple weekly challenges and they gave us these random packs i didn't even know these existed but they're in the agendas for weeklies part whatever i don't care i was hoping for badges or even quick sell stuff is fine i was hoping i had a swap regardless you know we take any penny we take man we take the pennies in front of us any money is money 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 hey badge 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 nothing crazy but it's hopefully something to get me a little something now i just wanted to make it clear obviously i didn't sell any of my players paulo's still here jaron jackson all that like he's gonna sell he's gonna make me enough mt to keep going on for a long long time i'm not stressing that we'll be okay with paulo's sale eventually it's all about how we're gonna be okay now about getting over the hump right now this moment this second we could worry about the future when we get to it the future is not now the future is later 
The future is coming, chat. It's coming. SGA is coming home. I could feel it. I can taste it and smell it for some reason. Woof, woof. That's their thing, right? They all dogs in OKC. That's their thing. What is that? What is that? That's a ruby? Please be the ruby. Please be the ruby. It's better than nothing, man. Better than the gold. That would have been sad. Not sure if you guys saw my box yesterday. The free box they gave me. But I pulled the diamond Corey Maggetti. That was... I don't mean... I wish I could sell him, but obviously... Obviously, that's not an option now on breakout i decided to just keep refreshing first board so i was gonna go ahead and take this silver option pack i'm not gonna lie i was looking at this like yo that's a beautiful box right there i could get blessed but i was looking at this like yo how am i gonna make money nowadays like i can't think of anything like i'm out of ways i still have stuff to sell like badges and all that but it was becoming grueling it was time consuming like obviously it's better than if i was playing like the mt i was making from that but like ah, i wish this was good this box gives me 15 options i get only one but 15 options so i'm hopeful for a good one i kind of know my prices off the top of my head i don't have to recheck or anything like that i have an idea for the most part after looking at badges for the past few days just ideas of how who went up where when why and the idea was simple honestly it was challenger i think yep it had to be like there's no way i took anything else i know myself better than that and big challenger is the case we had some stuff sell just literally a lot of stuff sold actually that's big time bro i really was out here selling my on ball menaces I, I didn't even know it got to that point it definitely did i told you guys i was running out of ways a lot of badges are really cheap especially right now especially that this drop was not good no one wanted to badge out cards so you really had to hold on to badges you this was a perfect time to buy instead of sell and i was going the opposite route i was but it's okay Friday's coming up. I uh, hopefully will have time to play some showdown so I could get some better badge option packs, like more of them, I should say. And that way, that's where I replenish. That's where I get more and more of my badges. And we have enough for two more packs. So let's go ahead right here. We're closing in. We feel so close. I don't have to keep talking about smelling and tasting SGA because that sounds sus. Bro, what if he sees this video one day or a clip or something has no idea what I'm talking about? That is our 28th gold. That's a lot of golds, y'all. That is a lot of gold. I'm, I'm going to be surprised if I spend two mil. I feel like I'm going to be surprised because where did I get two mil from, from this whole grind? That shows you, oh my, oh my, oh my, pink diamond number four, chat. Let's go. Why do I keep calling y'all chat? I've been watching Kai too much. That's really what that comes down to. My fault, my fault. I'll lock in. I'll be better. That's on me. But we got new stuff to sell as well. That's a W. And the biggest W is we're at 19 and a half. Not just 19 and a half. So the players I would pull, I would do their challenges. And then I would have to chuck them up. Even if they weren't, I would like chuck them up for any price. I really do not care. But obviously you're trying to make a little bit of money. So I ended up selling them for 2K. Like prices obviously dropped since the first couple minutes when these dropped and i know 2k was like canceling a lot of those transactions because they were selling for more than usual which is really dumb 2k you guys got to be better man realize that when challenges drop card prices change like it only makes sense i have a bunch of these in here i'm not even gonna try to sell them i just need the extra mt to open one more pack because we're literally if i pull a diamond here i'm done that's all I could think about. I think if I get an Amy, we're getting closer. I don't remember if I'm done. It, like, I don't I don't remember off the top of my head. But, like, why do I even check prices? If these go for 250, I'm cool selling for 100 because those 250s aren't even selling. I double check here as well. If it's at 250, we quick sell. We're cool with that. I see 300. I see 250. So, I'm like, 125 is fine. That's how I see it every single time. And we're a millisecond, like a penny, bro. Like, if I could go out in the streets and ask someone for a small donation, someone would be able to give me that. That little mt change it's literally not even anything it's so little it's minuscule it's 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 ugh, it's tough it's tough it's tough when you don't have anything else to sell i found this ostrich bowl this actually goes for a lot I, I i realized that and that's a nice little piece to a collection somewhere someone can have this ostrich bowl and have fun but for me i just need one thing so quick sell post powerhouse i just quick sold so many badges and i'm fine with that they're all sucky sucky all day like none of you matter to me none of you matter all i care about is s g is that an emmy oh yeah oh yeah emmy down the middle that is big emmy and we still weren't there but i need you guys to see this right here please take a look i start the game it says one or more players is injured 
I sold my injury cards, chat. We don't have injury cards. The one time you quick sell them all, you need them. That is so, so funny. That's typical 2K. But obviously, all I did was use somebody else. Like, obviously, that's how you do that. That's how you get rid of that. We see strong handle. All of them are up except this one for 700. So thanks, my guy. I appreciate you. And you guys know how I operate. I wait for that pending right there. I don't know if you guys peeped that, but there's a 450 limitless right here that I can't buy because of the way I'm in here i'm in there in the wrong way so i have to actually go check because if you're doing it through auction you can't buy which is really dumb so like i have to like scroll here and try to get there as fast as possible it just went up but that is big tom snipe right there that is my best bad snipe of the day 450 for a limitless silver thank you so much what i genuinely like about that is it allows me to put one up for cheap and like i don't feel like i lost like i feel like i'm okay even if it sells for a little more now this is really really funny because i wanted to go in here to snipe a badge it was at 650 right 650 just went up and i didn't even have enough mt to buy it that is so comedy to me like the fact that I couldn't buy a 650 thing because I have no money, that shows you how draining this process was on our wallet. Like I've never had this little amount of MT like in a long time. That badge was waiting for me. I was literally doing this at like, it was like 4 a.m. my time, 5, 6, whatever. I, I'd be just up, kind of just grinding when the baby kind of sleeping because we take shifts. I take care of the baby at night. She takes care of her in the morning. But that's how that goes, right? That's what allows me to play this game as much as I'm allowed to play this game. And now this is the next morning. This is today. This is this morning, Wednesday, when I woke up. 46 things sold. You can't make that up. They're all cheap once again. We started at 1K MT. Let's fast forward a little bit and see where we're at. It definitely takes a while to go through this process, but... Hey, we did it, guys. We did it. I hope. I hope we did it. I don't even know. We we made it. We made it somewhere. We're one away. We're one diamond away. That's the crazy part. I didn't even need a pink diamond pull. Like we're one diamond away. All I need here, or maybe even an amethyst. We might not even need a diamond. Like we just need to get closer. That's all we need in life. And what do we pull here, ladies and gentlemen? A gold. Yes, that makes the most sense. Why would 2K make this easy on me? It gives me more things to sell, which we obviously appreciate, right? We love things to sell because I'm not tired of the auction house by any means. Hey, it's crazy. I'm so tired of the auction house. We got an Emmy down the middle. And that's all y'all need to know, man. An Emmy down the middle. Perfect way to tell you guys. I didn't want to show it earlier, but you guys can take a look. That's we are done with the Emmys to diamonds. And if you've been following along for a while, I said all I needed was one more diamond. That is it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our 20th, I repeat, 20th pink diamond skull. Our 20th pink diamond skull, ladies and gentlemen. Our 20th. How much did this process take? Should I tell you guys before or after we get SGA? I guess we say it before because then we get him and then we realize he was all worth it. Does that make sense? I feel like that makes sense. I just added up all the skulls I pulled, right? I figured that out. Now I just have to multiply it by how much each pack is to find out the total. And it's actually a little less than I thought it would be, honestly. It's not that bad. I thought it would be a little more. That's not that bad. And I'm not saying that 2K so you could feel like this is justifiable because it really isn't. It cost us 1.6 million, 1 million 653,750 empty. That's how much it cost me total. That was the grand total scheme of things, all that. Now, honestly, off the top of my head, that is not worth it at all. I'm just going to say that. No card should cost you that much. If he was in the auction house, he would cost a lot, lot less than that. A billion percent. All right, let's be clear on that. Now, the only reason it's worth it for me, not just for the content, not just for any of that stuff. Obviously, I feel like all that stuff was just in my collection that I, I definitely like didn't know about it, didn't feel about it, didn't think about I technically only sacrificed some sleep, we'll say, or just like a couple hours of my day, which I was working anyway. This is at the end of the day, my job. I don't think a normal human being should have to do that. I don't think anyone, even if you have the MT from other things, should have to waste that much on a card 2K. It doesn't make sense. I just want you guys to be clear on that. Like, I want to make that perfectly clear 2K. This was not worth it by any means necessary. I'm going to enter these one by one just because... We, we went through the struggle. This video is super long. This video was great. I hope. I hope it was. If it was, please make sure you comment. Tell me something. Make me feel better about myself. Like, if you tell me something nice, 
Uh, I, I love you guys. I'll read every comment on this video for the rest of my life to make myself feel better. But 20 pink diamond skulls. That is what we have. That is SGA, PG, SG. It was an insane grind. We should take off the 10 packs that I technically bought with the cards that I literally sold. So technically that would bring us down to 1.47. So that's about 1.5 mil that was just laying in my collection that I didn't use, whether that was shoes, badges, uh, obviously I was playing games in between, but like the takeovers, like so many different things I was selling, that should be the main key that you guys learn from this. Sell the random stuff, whether it's literally jerseys, I was selling historic jerseys and arenas and logos, like just everything. I, I was able to make that because at the end of the day, there was five players I sold. Not even, it wasn't even crazy. Brandon Miller, Al Harrington, uh, DeJounte was the only one that sold for over a hundred. And like Julius Randall and Sean Kemp, five players, none of them even sold for that much. Like maximum I made was like 450, like something like that. And the other mill we made from selling random stuff. But with all that said, let's go ahead and confirm, confirm. Pink Diamond, Big Head, what's up? How you doing, Shay, Gilgis, Alexander? I need to go outside, I need to touch grass, so I'm ending this right here. Anything else you guys will see will be later on. I'm not talking anymore. Oh, let me show you guys percentages on the skulls. Let's do that really, really fast, all right? I'm gonna do that fast right here, math-wise, while we're together. Um, That way we have an idea. So basically, the gold was at a 32% chance. That's what I got them at. I opened 90 packs total, just so everyone knows. I, I got golds at a 32.2% chance of pulling them overall. Uh, we'll go ahead and say the rubies was almost 29%. It was 28.9, okay? That's where that was at. The Amis was not actually that bad. I pulled 21 Amis. I thought that was pretty good. So that was a 23.3%. That's 23% is solid. Diamonds, we pulled 10 diamonds, which is technically five pink diamonds. We will say that. But I only pulled that at 11% clip, which is actually really good. How is that 11%? I'm trying to say, no, there's no way. That's 11%. Wow, because it was 10 out of 90. Wow, that is actually sick. That is sick. And then the pink diamond rates, I pulled those at a 4.4% rate. So honestly, overall, it's uh, I started off hot, I feel like. like. I think the odds were better. They just slowly declined. Um, I'll keep those numbers on the screen. You guys see the total of MT spent. Not worth it. One bit. 2K fixed the grinds. This was not worth it for any means necessary for anyone. He's going to be my main point guard for a long, long time. I'm badging him to the fullest. He's going to be here forever, ever, ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, 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 ever. Okay, that's the plan. I, I hope so. He better be here for at least till season 5, 6, 7, 36, 24, till next year. I better get this card next year. Just keep him rolling over for me. <laughs> I'm obviously kidding. With all that said, no money spent most balling SGA. I don't don't know what i just said i'm done bro i'll see you guys later thank you for everyone who checked up on my health all that good stuff trust me i'm fine i'm fine i've been good bro this this grind was not that hard i will compare it to some of my harder grinds i think for a fact there was one year i hit level 40 with my no auction house team if you know you know that one i literally played till the last second of the season i had no auction house you used to have to buy players you used to have used specific players to get xp and that was the first time I've ever done it without an auction house, without buying a single player. I wasn't allowed to sell players in the auction house, buy players in the auction house. So I had to quick sell stuff and then be able to open packs to try to pull. And I got David Robinson. He was my first level 40 reward uh, for no auction house to level 40. And, I, and they changed it after that. After I did that, they made level 40s way, way easier after I, I showed that like it was impossible for someone without an auction house. Because back then there was a country without uh, the Holland, Netherlands. They had no auction house back in the day. So they updated that for that. So I hope they update this grind overall. Another really hard grind I did was um if you guys remember there was a bobby jones grind i think that was probably the hardest grind of my life i think that one was crazier because that actually messed with my mental a little bit not crazy but i, I that scores me till this day I'm, I'm horrified of the bobby jones grind i think it's 2k21 if you want to go back and watch the videos i think i uploaded three four videos during that grind that was one of the craziest grinds of my life honestly because um i was also using no auction house and i had to pull 10 of each amis to exchange into the it was literally a card that i never used to it was so bad but with all that said i'll see you guys later it's been your boy most y'all know the drill and ballin out